thoughts on the game? Yeah, no, another another high level baseball game. Uh, congratulations to Niagara. Uh, they gave us everything we could handle. They got a great team. We knew that going into it. One of the top offenses in the country. Um, you know, they, they've won a lot of games for a reason, and they played a great game. And uh, proud of our guys for how they they stayed in the fight after we got punched early uh, in that game, and um, just stayed stayed uh, relentless throughout and. Uh, made enough pitches, enough plays to win. Question. Coach, did you think you guys came out with enough energy early, or was it more about the punch that they threw to you guys first? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of hard to really, I guess, figure out what it was because, I mean, their pitcher came out, went three up, three down, and obviously they punched us, you know, right in the mouth early. And it, it's not like Mason wasn't ready to pitch. I mean, that wasn't the case. I mean, it was just they were – they were ready to hit, um, had a leadoff base runner, and they were ready to swing, um, and, and they got rewarded for it. And uh, But what Mason did is he settled in and, and gave us a shot to, to only use two arms today and uh, let our offense kind of settle in. So, um, you know, I thought the Sanderson swing obviously was a big one to spark us. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it appears that way when you go three up, three down, and you give up a three spot. Um, but, you know, I don't think it certainly wasn't from a mentality standpoint. We were ready to, we were ready to rock. Your perspective, did you feel like you had all your pitches right away, or, or was there something that kind of clicked for you as the game went on? Yeah, I, I felt great um, coming into the game. Uh, prep, warm up, everything felt great on the mound. Um, kind of just made a mistake there in the first inning, but I mean, it's a long game of baseball. There's nine full innings, so uh, just trying to come back and compete. And I know my guys got me, and I got them. So, Case, how much of a jolt do you think that, that your home run provided in terms of just bringing energy to the dugout and cutting into that deficit? Yeah, I thought it was a big swing on my part. You know, we had guys on the on the base getting in front of me. You know, and that was big for them. You know, giving me momentum to go into that at bat. You know, and just allowing me to be in that spot. You know, and having them trust trust in me and that process they have for me. And uh, yeah, just having me. You know, have a good swing. You know, being present in the moment and uh, just uh, taking a good hack at it. What did you see on that swing? Uh, you know, I <laughs> I felt like it was a great swing. You know, uh. I was through it, and uh, you know, I thought it was a maybe 50-50 ball. You know, thought maybe the wind maybe gave it a little jolt, but you know, overall it came our way. So, it was yeah, it's fastball. Coach, well, the start of that inning, you had a leadoff man on, which was the first of the tournament so far for you guys. You go five for nine on leadoff yeah. hitters after zero for nine yesterday. How does that change things for you? A lot. Um, yeah, that was the first one, and uh, we got even with a fastball in the first couple of innings. We were. You know, their left-hander, had, he had good angle on the on the heater. He was, you know, pretty firm. And he hadn't given up a lot of hits going into it. He hadn't thrown a whole lot, but he hadn't given up a lot of hits. So, um, you know, D.C. getting even with a fastball sparked us. And um, I believe we hit for the cycle of the leadoff innings the rest of that game. Uh, a triple home run, double and a single um, the rest of that game. So, again, hitting's contagious. Um, and, you know, just obviously if we can get the leadoff hitters on, we get – put pressure on them uh, with our run game and our ability to bunt and do some different things. Um, we get some more fastballs for our guys and have a chance to drive some balls out of the park. And well, in this regional format, was there any thought about starting anyone other than Mason? No, did you look ahead? there wasn't, no, because you can't look ahead. I mean, it just you just can't because especially as much respect as we had for Niagara and their offense. Um, I mean, they, they put up a bunch of runs yesterday on some pretty good arms uh, for Oklahoma State. and. Um, ballpark was a little more offensive today too, but <clears throat> no, never a thought. Uh, Mason was our guy to give us the best chance to win, and, um, and we don't win that game if he doesn't stay in the fight for us and get us some length. Um, that's what a big horse like him, that's what he can do um, when he doesn't necessarily get off to the best start. You look up and it's one walk, ten punch outs. If he gives any freebies whatsoever throughout that game, probably gets a little more sideways than it did. So, um, no, never a thought. How do you assess your pitching tomorrow? I mean, you mentioned more yeah. arms used today for what could potentially be a long day Sunday. Yeah, I mean, four four arms in two games. I mean, that's that's what you got to have. So, um, you know, we'll talk about who we're going to start tomorrow. Um, but we feel like we still got a bunch of guys that are rested and ready. Mason, back-to-back games that you've had double-digit strikeouts. Anything in particular that you think has, has allowed you to hit your stride this time of year? I'm really just trying to trust my stuff. And then credit to Josh Karen behind the plate. I mean, me personally, I think he's one of the best defensive catchers in the country. He makes me look even better than maybe I am. Who knows? But uh, no, really, just trying to attack the zone, throw multiple pitches for a strike, and get hitters off off their or off their uh, feet. Mason, kind of, what was the mentality when you get punched early? But kind of, as Coach Bolt just said, you know, stayed in the fight and productive six innings. Mm-hmm. Um, I have full trust and confidence in our offense. I mean. 
we're a, uh, a very resilient team, very tough. And um, I understand baseball is a long game. You can't ride the highs. You can't ride the lows. You guys stay even keel. So that was kind of the main message throughout the entire game today and just go inning by inning and try and get um, each out and each pitch and focus on each one. Coach, there's a lot of talk, I think, around this time of year about pitching the deeper you get into a regional like this one. But you also have to have the run support, too. How, how big is what Gabe is providing for you guys this these last couple of games? It's uh, He's unconscious at the plate. I mean, you, you got to have um, – everybody's got good stuff this time of year, so it, the the big hit can be elusive at times. I mean, there's there's guys that have wipeout stuff on the mound, so – um, you got to have slug. You got to have the ability to, to hit doubles and homers and drive runners in from first and have yourself in scoring position when you're in the batter's box. Um, that's what the better better teams have. So that's what he's provided us this postseason. And you've seen you know our ability to have some cricket numbers because of that. Um, but I mean, it, it's he's just been consistently on the barrel, hitting fastball, sliders, and changeups, all the pitches, all parts of the park. Um, it, it's been really, really impressive what Gabe Swanson's doing. You know, I like we have all year. I mean, it, it, there's just not a whole lot to make of it because you just you can't have your feelings involved in baseball. It just doesn't doesn't allow for that. So um, you just kind of stop thinking about it. You just say hey, let's let's go compete, let's go fight, let's not make it more than um, you don't you don't want to look at the big picture and say oh we got to win X amount of games because we certainly didn't do that um, last week on our our championship run. I mean, it's just let's let's take the next one. Um, and play a great game. Um, but yeah, we played a great game yesterday, just came out on the wrong side of it against a really good Florida team. Um, and we showed up today and didn't get off to a great start, but that's why you play nine innings. And um, you know, we were, we were really, really tough throughout that game. To Mason and Case, to piggyback off that, in six and zero in do or die games this postseason, how, how, do you, how do you keep that approach? How do you keep doing it? Um, I really think just trying to stay tough and just trying to focus on each pitch and each inning. I mean, like we've said, Baseball is a long game, and uh, we understand that our backs are against the wall, but this seems very tough. We've, we've got a great group of guys that stay present in the moment, um, very resilient, and um, at the end of the day, it's just to stay in the moment and uh, win each pitch. Yeah, just what Max said, you know, staying present in the moment and not worrying about what happened in the past or what's, what's to come, you know, just staying in that present time and uh, just trusting your ability and uh, what's, uh, what God's given you, and uh, just be, be trusting uh, what the team and uh, trust the guys around you, you know, uh, just be there for them and, uh, you know, just put it all out there and, you know, sacrifice for each other. I guess one more quick on, on Worthley. What was he able to provide? Why was he so effective today? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought his fastball velo was great today. Um, he threw a ton of strikes. Um, a couple of big play, especially I think it was the eighth inning, the line drive that overbeat caught. Um, thought that was a big play there, but <clears throat> he didn't. He didn't give him anything. No freebies. Um, so made him made him earn it. Um, they were swinging early in the count, and uh, he was just he had he had three pitches going, and um, you know their their three old hitter obviously had to come to the plate in the ninth inning and make it interesting, um, but executed three great sliders and finished it off. Really uh, excellent outing by him. Anything else?